The monster book from Harry Potter, a Rubik's Cube with faces, and a dragon attack? Today, we share interesting and fun ideas that will make your day bright and memorable. Every girl wants to feel like a princess in a tower sometimes. And for every princess, there is a dragon to break her solitude. We will tell you how to turn into a scary reptile and freak out your friends. Cut out the side parts for the mask from a gray piece of cardboard. Take acrylic paint. Starting from the edge, cover the cardboard with green paint. Make beautiful, smooth transitions. Use dark paint where necessary. Done! Make a green eye from modeling clay. Draw a narrow, cold-blooded pupil with a marker. Cut sharp teeth out of a white foam rubber sheet. Make as many pieces as you need. Fasten the eyes and powerful jaws to the mask. Apply hot glue on the edge and attach a sheet of corrugated cardboard. Glue the second part of the mask. Make the lower jaw from a strip of paper and the teeth. Glue it to the mask. This is not just a dragon, but also a dentist's dream come true. All its fangs are perfect. You can put the mask on your face and scare your friends. And now take two paper plates. Pierce through the center with an awl. Fasten them with an unbent clip. Draw a girl on the top plate with a marker. Color her with multicolored markers. Next, cut the face out using a box cutter. Draw the facial features on the bottom plate through the hole. Shift the plate slightly and draw another face. Alternately, draw a variety of facial expressions. It is so funny to watch the emotions on the face change. Frustrated, contented, surprised, in love, laughing, all in one minute. She's like any real girl. This time, take a sheet of thick paper, then print out and cut out a picture of a hamster. Divide the sheet into six equal parts with a pencil and leave a thin border. Bend it along the marked lines. Hot glue the edges. Bend a thin strip of paper. Fasten it inside the hexagon. Glue the hamster on top. The toy is very simple. Squeeze the paper walls and the hamster jumps out. And if you like cats more, you can choose another picture. Very interesting. For another idea, take a matchbox and glue a bird out of cardboard. Decorate the matchbox with a foam rubber sheet. Use hot glue. Pierce the bird with an awl. Cut out a base from cardboard. As an attachment, use a piece of a metal clip. Hot glue the clip on. Next, hot glue the bird to the matchbox. Attach a thin wire to the box. Fasten the edges of the wire to the tail. Done! The elementary mechanism sets the figure in motion and makes it swing from side to side. You can feed the little bird by simply moving the matchbox drawer. And for the next life hack, let's prepare a deep plate and a spoon. Squeeze out some shaving foam. Add Elmer's glue and borax. And a little cornstarch. Mix everything well. Add some brown dye and continue to mix. You get a slime like this. Look how stretchy it is! Roll it. Lay it in a spiral. Attach eyes. Doesn't this pile remind you of anything? Let's prank a friend and put it on her plate. So instead of lunch, she will get a brown emoji. Her reaction is priceless. And don't forget to snap a pic of the prank's result. Don't run away. It's just slime. Why didn't she like it? And for the next idea, you need a piece of cardboard. 
Apply paint with a brush and decorate the cardboard with colored squares. Lilac, purple, yellow, and blue. Make sure to choose bright colors. Paint the borders between the squares white. Decorate the yellow square with green drops. Draw white stripes on another square. Outline the shapes with a black marker. Cut out additional parts from the cardboard. Color them. Fasten facial features using super glue. The result is a picture in the style of Pablo Picasso. Inspired by the great master's genius, we created a whole gallery of paintings based on his work. Even in our time, paintings in the genre of cubism look very bold and relevant. And for the next life hack, you will need clips, scissors, and a couple of magnets. Fasten the magnets to the scissors blades. Take a cardboard box without a lid. Glue a sheet of paper on the bottom. Prepare a palette with paints. Dip the clips in paint and lay them on the paper. Place the scissors with magnets under the box. Moving the scissors from the back side, move the clip around the sheet. An abstract pattern appears on the paper. Switch the paper clips and add some bright and juicy colors to the picture. The process is very funny. You never know how strange the picture will be. And the colored tape will help decorate the bright abstraction. See? Just a couple of clips are enough to draw a stylish picture. For this funny idea, you need a piece of shiny foam rubber sheet and some straws. Cut off a piece from the straw. Cut out triangles from the foam rubber sheet. In total, you will need three pieces. Hot glue a shiny tail to the straw. Seal one of the ends with hot glue. String the rocket on the straw. And you go to your friend who is bored outside. Give a piece to every player. The goal of the game is to blow into a straw and launch the rocket. The further it flies, the more points you get. A great way to turn an ordinary walk into a funny and cheerful game. And to make a funny notebook decoration, you need a piece of faux fur. Coat a piece of glass with lotion. Draw sharp teeth with hot glue. Fasten them around the perimeter of the hard cover. Make a couple more parts with hot glue. Paint the face of a three-eyed monster. Paint the teeth white around the outline and decorate the cover with a fur coat. Now you can't even remember how the old boring notebook looked. It's the monster book of monsters! And judging by the number of teeth, it likes to bite. But we know that it is a harmless creature. Here's one more interesting idea. Pour 10 grams of gelatin into a plate. Fill it with water. Mix it and place a part of the gelatin into a separate dish. Warm it up and add some green dye. Then add a little shampoo and mix everything carefully. Continue to mix so it doesn't burn. Take round molds of different sizes. Insert them one into another. Fill the green mass gently along the edge. Let it harden. Do the same with the rest of the gelatin, but take red dye this time. Fill the red center. Cut the mold and remove the watermelon pancake. Cut off the top layer with bubbles using a knife. Make the soap with different fruit designs. Watermelon soap will clean your hands and train them for dexterity and fast reflexes. Just try to keep it in your hands. In addition, it bounces pleasantly in the hands and creates an anti-stress effect. And for the next life hack, you will need an old Rubik's Cube and a photograph. Remove the stickers from the faces of the cube. Trim the photo to the desired size. Draw squares on the back. Cut it along the lines. Fasten a piece of the photograph to each of the small squares. Cover the rest of the cube with your favorite photos or just pictures. 
The result is a funny two-in-one photo cube. You can reassemble it as a regular Rubik's Cube or use it as a souvenir photo frame. A day off is an ideal time for creativity and especially for drawing. But the still life is not turning out well. We've got an unusual idea. Cover all the elements of the composition with paint. Decorate the fruit with bright color strokes. Then move to the jug. Draw the shadows with darker shades. Do not blur or shade the strokes. Set a background. Take a picture. Print it and insert it into the frame. Looks like a real oil painting! So natural that even your best friend will think that you drew this photo masterpiece with your own hands! Let's not reveal our little secret to anyone, okay? Did you like our ideas? Which of these life hacks did you want to try out? Let us know in the comments under the video! And don't forget to like this video! Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell to be the first to watch the most interesting things from the Troom Troom Select team!